Hello everybody, and it's Simple Gamer, and I am back. So my shoulder is better now. It feels better. It doesn't hurt at all. Even move around or that is. So I don't have to wear the case anymore. So I am back to YouTube, and well, as you said it, that battle came out today. <coughs> so. Anyways, so it is Brawlrog from Straight Vider versus TG Comp Killer Instinct. I'm going for TG Combo because I know him. I like how he fights because I fought him before in a very high difficulty. I managed to beat him by 10% of health. Yeah, I got lucky. So I don't know about Brawlrog, but now I know him now. So as they talk about him, I know him now. Even DJ Combo. So I'll vote for DJ Combo. So yeah. Anyways. Let's start this death bell. Oh, remember. Um, I forgot to tell you guys. It's on 480p quality. You can't tell me it's 720 because it lags a little bit. And I don't like it, but. I'll just start bell anyway. So. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Introducing our first fighter. He's big. He's crude and all rawhide. He's Balrog. Hold on. Now for a challenger. Oh, a heavyweight champion with a shady history who's here to prove he can beat the best of the best even without awesome metal arms. He's TJ Combo. <laughs> uh. Man, think you got what it takes to beat the champ? <laughs> you won't even make it to round two, Wimp. <laughs> Here we go! And fight! <laughs> Ball Rob starts strong and ferocious. Better stay out of his way, TJ. <laughs> he is ferocious. <laughs> TJ's quick, but Ball Rock is clearly overwhelming him. Just like that, Balrog puts Combo in the corner, and here he comes for the follow-up! TJ is now in a good spot! Whoa, whoa, wait a minute! Did TJ just turn this around? Incredible! Out of nowhere, Balrog's the first to fall! <coughs> Annoying bastard! I'll break you like a rag doll. <laughs> That's the bell, ending round one. Folks, it looked like Balrog clearly had the reins in this fight, but I say TJ proved he can give as good as he gets. Moving into round two. I think this is too close to call. What you got, huh? 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 <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! A dirty move from Balrog! Whoa! That's not appropriate! He's back down the Come on, Tiny! Just you and me! Bring it on, asshole! If you guys want to watch this in HD, I'll link it down the below. Oh my god! You won't hear the full take count! Why don't you go to hell? I can't believe it! Combo's down! This could be over! No, he ain't done yet! I ain't done! Wait, what? 
He's Berserker Rage! Ooh. He's wounded! <laughs> This was an extremely close bout. In fact, both fighters were evenly matched in a lot of unexpected ways. Being a slugger, Balrog was obviously used to having the strength advantage, but DJ actually had him matched. Recall how Balrog's punch killed an elephant whose skull could withstand 10,000 pounds of force, or 44,482 newtons. In comparison, TJ's vortex punch is capable of hitting opponents at a minimum of 13.4 feet into the air even if they weigh as much as 550 pounds like Fulgor. To launch something that heavy with just a punch would require 44,820 newtons of force. Dang, that's close! And that's not even TJ's strongest punch! Even their ability to take hits were pretty similar, like Balrog falling off of the cliff or TJ jumping out of the Ultratech skyscraper, both of which were at similar heights. Luckily for TJ, analyzing real-life boxing trends revealed his inherent advantage over Balrog. The popular triangle theory of boxing, also called the rock-paper-scissors theory, claims that sluggers such as Balrog naturally struggle against outboxers like TJ. Yeah, slugger punches are really strong, but they're predictable and require more energy. So a good outboxer could just keep his distance, capitalizing on mistakes, and then wear the slugger down over time until the opportune chance for a knockout blow. Obviously, it's called a theory for a reason. Every boxer is different. However, when applied at a very fundamental level, the triangle theory holds weight. He like just broke his arm with the still kid. Because that's what happened to me. In the famous rumble in the jungle. <laughs> I just put the still kid out on And don't my forget TJ kept a heavyweight title sleep. for over 20 years. Despite how closely matched their power and durability were, TJ's speed, tactics, and experience won the match by permanent knockout. You could say TJ had the instinct for this fight, and it was a killer. The winner is TJ Combo. <laughs> yeah, TJ. <laughs> Stick around, we're about to announce the combatants for the next death battle. And if you want to watch exclusive commentary on this episode, click that little box the over next there death and start battle. trial. Try to grab one of these shirts, too. I need to get those shirts. Shredder versus Silver Samurai. I don't know Silver Samurai, but I do know Shredder. <laughs> Uh, so, next death battle is, well, well, you know, you know what it is, you just saw it anyway, so, <laughs> Optimus Prime versus the NJ. okay, that will be a stupid battle anyways, but, <laughs> so, that is death battle, Brolog versus TJ Combo, so, yes, that was, that was pretty good, but it'll be much better if it was HD, well, if I had it on HD, but if you guys want to watch on this on HD, then I'll link the video below, and you can watch it from there. So, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you all for watching. We're on Game on, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.